guys, it's me, Carmen, from Fancy Show Tech, and today's video is about five useful terminal commands for OS X. Now, these commands, some of them are just for fun, some of them are actually very useful, some of them change the appearance of the operating system. So now we've gotten that enter out of the way, now let's start with the commands. The first one is the say command. I'll show you what I mean. I have the sound turned on so you can hear my sound from the operating system in the video. So let's type in say... Hello, YouTube. Now, it's basically vocalized what you say, like text-to-speech. And OS X is cool because it has a few different voices built out. I'll show you how to use different voices in Terminal in a second. Hello, YouTube. Okay, it just said hello, YouTube. But now let's do it in a different voice. So we have to say, type say dash V, and then type the name of the voice. This voice is Alex, so I'm going to try. And then we can type something like, Hello, YouTube again. It's a slightly different voice. Hello, YouTube. Oh, so it was a, a d different voice. Never mind. I'll try a totally different one. Solos. That one's interesting. Hello, YouTube. If you want to see the full uh, spectrum of voices, you can go to System Preferences and Under Speech. There'll be a list of voices. Those are the same voices you can access in Terminal. This is the easiest way to actually use them to vocalize anything. Those are just things like different applications using text-to-speech. So yeah, that's the say command. So you can like tell your computer to say something. This is useful for like different things you want to record a computer voice for part of a video or something. Terminal. Terminal is awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's a little funny. Next is an interesting command, the host command. It lets you find the some DNS server information for some websites, like the IP address of, like... Well, I'll, I'll show you. Host.tv. So, we first type in host, and then we type in the space, then the... Oops. Eh, undo. Host, space, then the domain we want. So, let's say we're getting information on twit.tv. He would give us the IP address, the mail server information, stuff like that. So twit.tv has th these two IP addresses. I don't know why it appears like that, but I guess it does. And it shows us their mail is handled by Google Apps. These are Google App servers. Now let's try my domain, fancyshowtech.tv. See what pulls up. Fancyshowtech.tv has address... 174 by 122.2.189 and it shows all servers my mail is handled for. Obviously, I use Google Apps as well. Now, of course, again, just, this is a pretty easy command. Just type host, space, and then the domain you want to, like, uh, get uh, info on. You could even get Google.com. Google. And obviously, Google's mail is ha handled in-house. So, yeah. Okay, and uh, next command is one that changes the appearance of Mac OS X, the dock, to be specific. And, uh, of course, this command might be a little complicated to type in. You can find all of the commands featured in the video today in the description of this video. So, next one is on the dock. You know, the dock in uh, OS X. It may... If you... I know when you put it on the sides of the screens, it makes it 2D, but when it's on the bottom of the screen, it's only in the 3D mode. As awesome as it looks and is sometimes, sometimes you just want the 2D mode on the bottom of your screen. Like, kind of like in Tiger, how it used to be. So, uh, just type this command in. Defaults, write, com.apple.doc, no glass, no dash glass, dash bootlean. Yes. Now, if that command's kind of a trouble to type in, you can find it in the description of the video. And you can copy and paste it in the terminal. Now let's click enter. It's the same because we have to force quit. We actually have to force quit the dock. So, for all the com So, let's type in kill all. Oh, it has to be a capital D. Yeah, kill all space capital D dock. Now, it has to be capital D. On my trying of this... Lowercase d won't work. We'll see if it works. I tried it. See, so yeah, I'll say no matching processes. Um, Unix is a little specific on the uh, processes name. It's capital D doc. 
And then it'll kind of reset. I hope that didn't mess up the screencast. Probably not. And now we have the nice uh, 2D dock. And of course, if you want to reverse this, it's a similar command, except at the end where it says yes. You add that and put no. And then kill all dock again. And now it'll kind of like reset. And now you have the old 3D dock back again. The next one changes the sizes of the icons to really large icons. So default, of course, it's a similar command. And at the end, the number is what you change. 512 is the highest I'd recommend you go. Even at that size, the icons are really large. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend going past that. So let's type in 512, click enter. Once again, we have to do kill all doc. And it'll have to reset. Of course, the doc will come back. And look at this. The icons are very large now. I was taking up the whole screen, so I wouldn't recommend you keep it like this. You can make it lower, like 128 or something. And then kill all doc, of course. And if you want to change it back to normal, you don't even have to do a terminal command. Actually, I think 128 is normal. But if you want to change it back to normal from that without doing a terminal command, just go to System Preferences, and then go to Dock, and then just put the slider, adjust the slider a little, and then leave. That's it. Pretty simple. I'll show you real quick. System Preferences, Dock, and then Magnification. You just, like, move it around and then put it back on Max, and it should be back to normal 128. Okay, so uh, next is one more command. That was four commands right there. Four main commands and their variations. The fifth command is a very interesting one. Not so useful, but very interesting. I'll let you watch a ASCII. I'm not sure you say that. ASCII, art version of Star Wars, or basically a text version that's animated. So let's type, you have to see what I mean. So type in telnet space tau dot blink en lights dot nl. And in a second we'll start, we'll have Star Wars and Terminal. Of course it says original work. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the IPv6 version. Doesn't really matter about the IPv6 version. It's just cool to watch it anyways and nothing. Uh, Terminal, and they're trying to encourage the use of IPv6. And then you'll, see, but they've this has been around for years. A few years ago, all the major tech blogs feature this, but now it's still a cool thing to do. And if you want to stop it, I'm pretty sure I'll try Control C. I think it's Command C. I'm not sure. I don't think either one of those will stop it. So just force quit Terminal. I think that did stop it, but didn't let you back in the normal Terminal. So just make a new window. If you have to quit it, just if you're still in terminal, press. If you still have it open, just press Command N. And those are five main commands that basically are really cool in terminal. You can find some more by googling them. Really cool commands. Don't Google that. I mean, just Google for and five useful commands or something. So anyways, you guys, uh, if you really liked the video, be sure to leave a comment below. Maybe uh, subscribe to us. That'd be really cool. And of course, of course, you guys, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at SuperPC. Follow Fancy Show Tech on Twitter, Fancy Show Tech. Well, not at SuperPC, just SuperPC. I keep saying at because the at symbol. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Those are five useful commands. They're all in the description. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but they have all been tested on Snow Leopard and Lion. So, if you're using Snow Leopard or Lion, these commands are guaranteed to work. Another say command, I'm pretty sure it works on almost all versions of OS X. I'm not sure how far back, because I know once you reach a certain version, it won't work. But I know it works at least probably as far back as Leopard. Maybe Tiger. I'm not sure about that, though. So. Completely, but I do know it works on Snow Leopard and Lion, and all the other commands are guaranteed to work on Snow Leopard and above, as I showed today. And I'll talk to you guys later, so uh, keep it awesome. Talk to you guys later. Bye.